four teams going head to head to design, construct, and deploy one of history's most awe-inspiring siege engines at a fraction of the size. 165! This is the 2024 Trebuchet Challenge. I'm Adam Berry, I'm an engineer here down at First Build, and I was a part of the previous year's winning team. And this year I had the extreme pleasure of hosting the 2024 Trebuchet Challenge. Today, we have four teams of graduate level students that have been working on designing their own individual trebuchets. All the teams have had two days to construct their individual trebuchets. At the end of the second day, they will be given a chance to make three throws with a provided hacky sack and a provided counterweight. There are no restrictions on the height or the weight of the actual design itself. However, they are given a very specific set weight that we provided to them. They can't add any additional power in that way as well. Um, in the spirit of that, there's also no allowance for any rubber bands, motors, springs, or anything like that. They have to work with the provided weight. With the exception of the weight, there are really no other limits, which is why we want to see some really creative designs out there. Certainly, I'm excited to see what each of the teams make. Let's go meet the teams. Yeah, we're, we're going to do traditional and base it kind of off the winning uh, version of last year's <laughs> because it won. Uh, so I'm working on calculations to make sure that proportions of like the arm for the counterweight and the arm for the sling are correct and will give us the most launch. No, we're doing the typical trebuchet design for this. I think it's simpler and will be easier to implement and then be able to do a lot more changes. Lightweight on the front end, heavier on the back end. And I'll probably go with some fishing wire as well, so we, uh, we don't have too much, too much weight. No, no more added weight. Reduce the drag. So uh, we're doing a like free arm um, trebuchet. So these are going to be um, steel cylindrical rods. Um, that way we minimize contact surface. Um, we're trying to get it the least amount of friction while this thing is actually falling as we can. The total of their launches is going to be what their score is in the end, so it's about consistency as well as distance. What they don't know is that there's going to be a surprise complication sometime after lunch, but we'll get to that later. Well, you see, we want to lob this into space. No. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> but it's, we're going for something really basic. We have triangle blades going on, a rod in the middle. We want the lever arm to be all made out of plastic, but then we're going to slap some wood on the other side of it to kind of give it that more bigger swing. And we're trying to also figure out how long we want this runway to be to give it like the most distance to kind of build that momentum so that when it does lob, it gets that maximum amount of, you know, yeet. <laughs> Attention everyone! We will add a new constraint to your design. You will have to each clear a four foot wall that we are placing eight feet away from the start of the trebuchet as a part of their new design. Will that change things? We'll have to see. Stay tuned. Thoughts? Our team's gonna win because our secret weapon is our counterweight design and the zero uh, friction that we have. We were already planning on going way further than that and way higher than that, so we should be okay. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be shooting it well over four yes. feet high. Even though she's almost barely taller than the wall. Listen, I'm a goalkeeper. <laughs> I was the wall. So uh, I'm not really feeling intimidated about the wall. Our trebuchet is designed to go up and over anyways, so we're not cutting corners. We're not trying to roll this thing, so we're in the, we're in the green. Honestly, that wall, that's not an obstacle. That's just another Tuesday for us. Our launch height's higher than the wall. We figured out we had to get it over a wall was, uh, we had to make the long arm longer to hopefully give it some verticality instead of just like trying to horizontal fly it. Shorter, if it has a shorter arm, it would just kind of go too straight. Now we had to make it go over an arch and that's significantly more frustrating, uh, significantly more task oriented, but hey, it's fun. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I, over, I overslept because I'm not worried at all. <laughs> we're a little, a little heavy on the front arm, so we're not, we're not able to create enough velocity to throw the sack far enough. So it's coming down to the wire. We got to figure it out in a couple hours. So we'll see what we can do. See what we can come up with. Our 
team, we we really need to uh, to make this a smoother connection between uh, this metal piece and the rod, um, just to have a, a cleaner interaction. The screws are abrading this these metal sheets. I mean, you can see the you can see the, the scratch marks on here, especially near the end. So we got to find a way to file these down ASAP. We are running out of time. What are we trying to do in the last minutes here? Uh, so we were trying to secure this um, roll right here because it's not stable. Other than that, I think we're good. We're stable. We're just trying to get the, this arm with a better design. So we're coming down to the wire and unfortunately right now we're flinging it backwards um, because it's coming out of the little basket thing at the wrong time. So we gotta fix that. We have to modify the angle to make sure it goes forwards because we had it right before but then we took it apart and now it doesn't work. So now we're putting it back together. Teams, you only have one minute left before we start. Get ready. I think it's great. Um, you know, a lot of great noise and uh, some good snacks. Cut that. Oh yeah, did you see it just uh, no. chipped the brick? Yes! I'm standing here where each team will get a chance to set up their trebuchet and take three shots down this area. We're sitting in a nice, open, well-ventilated land where there's no chance that they could possibly hit the ceiling. Each team will do three shots, put the score together, and that'll be the, total the totality of their score. So it's important that not just it's good, but that it's consistently good. And remember, we've got an four foot tall wall that each team is gonna have to overcome. So let's get started. It's spinning. Who's gonna go first? Fall guys. All right, three, two, one. 127 inches. We can do better than 127. 188. 158 and a half. And it is. Give me the big print. The E Musketeers. Probably three Musketeers. I typoed it. 165. One fifty three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very scientific method. One sixty two. We got champions. Champions. Team champion. <laughs> no, 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 we got the hold on. Oh, boy. <laughs> we high. got this. Hundred and nine inches. One hundred and seventeen. <laughs> Gotta wait for the spinny wheel. It is perfectly balanced. Oh, it is perfectly balanced. Two hundred and thirty. A little bit more. One hundred and eighty-six. I'll call that 210. Perfectly balanced. The winner. Wow. There you go. Nice. Well, we well. together, champions. We work minutes and minutes. Uh, yeah. Very, very undeserving. <laughs> <laughs> and you all passed. That was, that was the final exam. Awesome. <laughs>